hello everyone welcome in my channel uh, windows phone today i'm going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, library management system in this video a tutorial uh, i'm going to show you some edit operations in existing table that is issue book uh, you know very well uh, in the last video tutorial uh, i have seen uh, two other fields uh, related to the uh, operations when uh, we Mm, issue the books and return the books so here we have two new bit uh, type of uh, data that is issue and the return but only we need have only single data then we can update uh, uh, then we can uh, perform edit operations or you can say update operations in the single field so uh, just use only the single bit uh, uh, field instead of uh, multiple fields okay now after that you can update the model similarly you can uh, you can see in the last videos okay uh, just right click on it and update model from database you know uh, very well about how to update EDMX file or you can say EDMX model by using the database table Okay, after adding the table in the EDMX file you can save that operations and Perform uh, Some Edit operation using the code Okay when we click on the issue book here we have a id ispn number enrollment number and the uh, issue and return so in on the button two dot click we have issue book book equals to new issue book that is a new table uh, instance name that is book book dot enrollment number pick from that uh, text box so student text dot text and book dot isbn number picked from uh, text box so isbn text dot text now after that you can uh, perform some uh, edit operations in existing quantity in the book table also set the return uh, in issue return is set to true okay so context dot so the context dot issue uh, book dot add the book so the first entry uh, you can save in the issue book when uh, any students issue a single book at a time so in the issue return property set to true also perform the save changes operation in the context and after that you can also update uh, the quantity uh, in the book table so just create a instance of the uh, instance for the book table so single book you can uh, take ad, as a name of uh, instance so context dot books dot where and uh, get the single book which is uh, issued by the students uh, so you can use isbn number that is the particular number of the book so x dot isbn equals to um, isbn text dot text you can use it here isbn text dot text okay so after that you can use the first or default otherwise you can get only the enumerable uh, data in the single book uh, instance or you can say say single variable book single book so you can check it what data inside the single book that is iqrable data only so you can use 
here you can check the quantity you can see the quantity is the integer type so it's not there without the only the queryable data um, has to get in the single book so you can check it i queryable book single book so just you can use first or default okay when you use the first or default a single tuple you can uh, you have to retrieve in a single book so single book dot quantity is single book dot quantity minus one and after that you can perform the save changes operation on both the tables okay so also you can uh, use uh, add uh, subtract by value operator uh, instead of this like this single book dot quantity minus equals to one after that you can perform contact dot issue book dot add book and contact dot save changes perform now also uh, you have to add a message box when we click on the issue book button so get uh, the book by using the category we have four books and uh, student enrollment number is this issue book and search it again the quantity is subtracted by one and also check the database table where issue uh, and written book have a true property so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other remaining videos of library management system for better result thank you very much for watching